No, I wasn't born blind. I became blind at the age of three as a result of measles. Braille is the way blind people read and write. Welcome to Special Life with Irene on Humanitarian TV. We are presently at the School for the Blind here in Abia State. We are here to meet up with all those with disability, especially those who can't see. They are being taught on how they could cater for themselves, how they could carry out their day-to-day -day activities. So join me as we go there and meet up with the various people there. My name is Mrs. Selen Ngozi Ologu, and I'm the principal of the School for the Blind, Afaru Kumaya here. I wasn't born blind. I became blind at the age of three as a result of measles. At that time, people are not aware of more how to inject children, as we have uh, people taking their children for injections against all these diseases this time around. That wasn't so in those days. My parents tried, they took me to various hospitals, but unfortunately, I did not recover my sight. I am Eke Uzioma Grace, a teacher in a school for the blind. I'm teaching them Braille. Braille is the way blind people read and write. That is their own way of reading and writing. That is Braille. You know, somebody that doesn't have sight cannot read print with the eyes. So that braille is their own way of reading and writing. So that is what I am teaching them here, how they can read and write. Braille, you read with your fingers. Yes, you is not with the eyes. As a blind person, the person will be reading with his or her fingers. Meaning, M E A N I N G. M E A N I N G. You see yourself in this condition, it devastating. You will never be happy in life. In short, you will pray that you will die. In short, many do take their life. I was actually working um, before I met um, eye problem. So working with a company actually, an engineering company, but trying to go to hospitals and then had surgeries and all that, that after some years I lost sight completely. Normally advise the general public to bring them here. Once they come, if it is an adult, it's very difficult. But we try to bring them back, make them realize the fact that life has not ended. God has not abandoned them. After writing jump, I pushed it down. I wanted to go to university. I couldn't. I couldn't see anything. You know. I couldn't read. I couldn't. Um, Anymore. So I was staying at home. Here we bring children from different ages. At times we have very small children, maybe from six years, seven, eight upwards. So I came back home. Used to be an Abuja based person. Came back home after many years, stayed indoors. I'm like, um, all hope was lost. But somebody actually told me about um, School of the Blind in Abuja before I came back home. So I was telling my people to actually make inquiries for me, but they, they didn't want to help me. Um, they just thought, um, you have been a professional, now there's nothing you can do, just sit one place. I was having so much problems because um, in life, if you can't do by yourself, especially somebody that is developed, it becomes a, a tragic thing. You, 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 can't, you can't survive. We communicate in various ways. Our braille writing is just to 
communicate with uh, you know blind com com community with other blind people who are lettered. Then to communicate with the sighted world, we do it if not verbally, we can type with typewriter, we can type with a computer. But we, when we are learning to type, we are not seeing the keyboard. We know our home keys. As your hands are there, you just move your fingers. You know ev where every key is. Whatever you want to write, you, write. So you see that you'll be faster. When I came, um, everything was like film. I, did, I don't understand what I did. But with time, I started understanding what they were doing. And I, I got back my joy and happiness. The phone we use, that's what I said, that we can send the SMS, we can do everything. What happens with the phone is that, the, though we can equally use once without talk back, you understand? We master the keys, the, where the alphabets are, and all that. So we can store our uh, contacts, retrieve them when we want, and they still make use of them. But when we are using the other one, the, the what do we call it, smartphones, we normally install a talkback device that will tell you whatever you are doing when you swap. M-E-A-N-I-N-G. M-E-A-N-I-N-G. Here in this school and I'm intending after here should be able to do one or two things to help myself. Yeah, so I actually gained my joy back being here and um, it's helping me to God be the glory. This is called Mabo. The, these things you are seeing, they, they, we call themselves arranged in lines and each cell has six dots. My staff, they love me, they obey me. Whenever I give them all that, carry it out effectively. And they, in short, God is doing it for me. They all do whatever I ask them to do. Hello viewers, you have seen most of the blind people, the teachers and of the school. These people, you can see how they have been interactive, how they carry out their day-to-day -day life, how they relate, how they even write. These people can do better than people who th they think they, they are not visually impaired. At least you can see how far they have been. If you're watching us today, please do not forget to subscribe on all our social media handles on our YouTube page on Day Humanitarian TV. Like and also drop a comment. Thank you for watching.